time we bring that muscle into Studio B. Welcome back to the arm. show <laughs> on a Friday. This is BYU Sports Nation alongside Jerem Jordan. I am Spencer Linton, the aforementioned Richie Saunders and his guns in the Cougar Council room. Richie, welcome to Studio What's B. Up, Richie? Good to be here. Thank That's you, what people you. talk about a lot, right? Well, like, I'm sorry I didn't show them off today, but... <laughs> next time. Yeah. Next time. You can't always go that well, right? <laughs> That's right. It's cold yeah. outside. There's yeah. no suns out. No. No people can no get their exactly. fix when they go to the game when Amen. they see That's you right. in your jersey, yeah, right? Yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah, more, more incentive to go and watch the game. Uh, Richie, what a fun season, and that's a huge understatement uh, as we kind of traverse through this Big 12 scenario and watch BYU basketball handle a challenge game in and game out. Yeah. Nine games in at the halfway point, how would you assess what it's like to play basketball in the Big 12? I love it, right? Like, it is, it is it's super unique. It's something I've never experienced where literally, like, pretty much every other day, right? Like, Saturday, Tuesday, like, every single time you step in that gym, like, it's, it's crazy. Like, you know that, like, there's no off days ever, right? Like, you, like, look around the conference, like, it is just amazing how, like, every single day, game day, there's just, like, all these upsets. And so, I mean, it's humbling, right? But it's, like, such a, such a cool, cool thing to be able to be a part of. There are the highs and lows of that road trip, right? Let's talk yeah. about the highs with West Virginia. Four threes from you, uh, including a banked three. We'll take, we'll take you it. Call, did you call glass on that? Uh, my team did. That's I, <laughs> they took care of it. I was screaming it from in front of my screen. <laughs> and I was like, ow! Yeah, hey, and fading away, take, too. That was yeah. like the hardest horse shot ever. You know, like it takes a lot of work to be lucky every once in a while. So Yes, we'll it does. It. Um, and then you go to Oklahoma, and obviously you guys are trying to bounce back from that. Kansas State, we're talking about how intriguing this matchup is. Yep. They lose four in a row, including a game at Oklahoma State, and then they beat Kansas. Those are two really different games. Wow. What are you expecting from one of the best defensive teams in the conference coming off a huge win? Yeah, you know, they're, they're playing confident, right? Like, as they should be. Um, but I feel like, just like every other game, um, it's going to be a big game. Uh, and, like, they have some really talented guards who are just able to score and score, like, in big amounts. Um, so really like a key for us is taking away the, the catch and shoot three, put it letting or making them put it on the ground and really shrinking the floor. You just answered my question, I think, which is the number one concern on the scout. Yeah. If say so along with that, what else concerns you about Kansas State's style of play? Um, I mean, they're, they don't have a ton of actions, right? Um, they, they just hoop. And so like, um, we just gotta be dialed into knowing who they are and what their tendencies are individually um, because when it comes down to it, there's going to be a lot of times when it's ISO and um, where they're going to try to go one-on-one -on -one and where, like I said before, like we got to make it so it's one-on-five. Um, so it's us against one of their players. Uh, Down Hall's done a nice job, uh, you know, on the other end of this in the pick and roll, getting on, four, you know, uh, five on fours, four and threes and whatnot. What are you seeing from your teammates in terms of how you guys are learning together throughout this uh, Big 12 season so far? Yeah, I feel like we're learning that we're a good team, right? Did like, you know that, or you I had to have a it. bigger challenge? Like 100 sort of percent, right? Like I've totally yeah. believed it, and like yeah. I have. But um, I feel like when you're tested, like that's what that's that's when you really learn. It's like affirming what you felt. Exactly right. Okay. Um, but to go along with that, like. Like we need everybody. <laughs> like, every, like we play so much different than everybody else in the league, right? <laughs> um, and so, but the thing is, like we, we we really do need every single person down the line. Like we can't do it without without everybody. Well, it's interesting you mentioned that because I just brought up that Coach Pope is hopeful to have your guy Ali Khalifa yeah. back in the lineup. And Foose has been remarkable, kind of shouldering that load yeah. in the post for the past few games. Ali brings a totally different dynamic. So, from your perspective. How does the offense and the game change when Ali is on the floor for the BYU guys? Yeah, um, you know, like, both have incredibly, like, they're so good at what they do. They do have a little bit different strengths, right? Foose is one-on-one -on -one in the post. Like, I'll take him over anybody. Yeah. Right? Um, Ali's passing is, like, you, everybody sees it. So I don't He's the best much, passing big man in the country, oh, right? Oh, like, 100%. Yeah, he is, like, statistically-wise. Um, but, you know, like, with Ali, like, and Foose, like, it just – it diversifies our game because um, when Ollie's on the perimeter, he he's a very good shooter, right? And he can really just spread out the floor. Uh, it's like we're watching right there, right? Like how when we get in those little flow actions, as we call them, like um, he 
he just makes the defense have to um, guard it differently. Um, and I'm super excited when he's going to be back in the lineup because with him and Foose, like it's and Atiki even like it's going to it's it just makes us like super unique. You guys feeling better? You guys have been sick for a little bit. It's been a it's been a it's been a grind, right? <laughs> like, like I had the flu Texas game and some of the West Virginia game. Couldn't, couldn't tell, bro. That was <laughs> no, amazing. You did see me after. That was but, amazing. Um, like you know, like Noah's been sick. Ali's been sick. Like, um, but I feel like we've had to just rely on each other even more, um, and people just have had to really step up because when it comes down to it, nobody cares, right? Like, like it sucks that like we've been sick, but the game goes on um, every Tuesday and Saturday. So uh, you, you listed a bunch of guys and Trevin Nell's had his bouts. Yeah. Dallin Hall's had his true. bouts. Mm -hmm. Like Spencer Johnson's who, been through it who as has, well. Who hasn't? Yeah, yeah, who hasn't on the roster? That's been wild. Okay, so health aside, I mean, from your vantage point, what's the vibe of the team like coming off you know, what was a tough second half? You played pretty well in the first half against Oklahoma. It kind of just felt like you ran out of gas. So yeah. what, what's the vibe of the team right now? You know, we, like, yesterday was an important practice for us. It started off slow, and it was, like, just, like, you know, like, after, like, a big loss like that, I know everybody that watches it and is, is invested feels it, but it's just, it's so hard, right? Like, it is, like, it just drags you down, and you just feel like the scum of the earth, right? But there's no time for that. So... Somehow we got to figure out how to get back. And I feel like yesterday's practice was key for that. Where we had to, honestly, like we had to like suffer through a little bit. The beginning practice was slow and it was like kind of a little bit more emotional. But as it went on, like we were able to um, just really get back into who we are. It's just like the energy team and this together team. It's like I've mentioned it 20 times already. Like we have to do it together. And like I felt like the second half of even practice, um, yesterday was key for that because it was kind of like, like boys, like we just got to do this together. Like we just got to, we got to just step up and do this, you know. You are to, uh, to I think both of us, the glue of this team, the energy you bring, the role you play. A lot of people want to be the main guy, the twenty point scorer. You come in with juice. You're at least going hard. You're you're banking in through whatever it takes, right? You're dunking. You're playing defense. When did you sort of embrace this role on this team? Of okay. I can contribute in this way. And you get under people's skin on the opponents, like, and you, you summon sort of this energy that helps the crowd and be why you like, when did you embrace this role for you? Well, I, I thought that's an interesting question because I, I, don't, I don't know if I necessarily know, but I'm just super, like, like honored to be a part of this. And, like, for me, like, I really just want to do whatever I can to, like, really, like, kind of the mantra is, like, just, like, get the job done, right? Like, mm. Like, you know, in other times in the past, I've played different roles. Um, but I, I love this role. I love, you know, being able to um, just be in the opportunities that I, that I can. And, um, you yeah, know, like, I'm just I'm super grateful for it. Richie Saunders is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Cur Colonel Saunders, as the graphic says. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Bucket of, it's bucket of chicken night quite often in the Marriott Center. Grab, a bucket. Grab, 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 grab a, a bucket. Grab a bucket. Grab a bucket. Let's on, go. It's Colonel hard. Saunders. Let's go. I'm having quotes from it. So I married an axe murderer. Floating to my mind. We won't, we won't go there. Uh, Richie. Why not? <laughs> What's the, what is the best part about playing at the Marriott Center, especially in Big 12 play? Oh, I'm so glad we're home. Um, you know, like, it's it's just as unique, right? Like, um, everywhere we go is there's big crowds, but there's nothing like playing in front of the Rock, playing in front of all of the fans. Like, And I feel like, um, I don't know, like, it just, it just feels good to be in front of these, in front of the people that are just dying for us. Like, they just, they just, they want us to do well so badly. And like, um, like, I'm just super grateful that we can have the opponent step on the free throw line mm -hmm. in the second half and go against the Rock. So there's a moment in the Texas game when BYU is going on a run in the second half and you spot up in the corner and you knock down a three. I think it puts BYU up nine. And it was one of those moments where I was like, wow, it <laughs> is loud. Yeah. I'm sure you know that three in that moment. How much do you feel that in the moment because you're in the game? Or were you trying to not throw up at that point? <laughs> yeah, I mean, every second was, let's just get through this media timeout. We can just get through this. But that was a really special moment for, yeah. like, I feel like my 
just kind of career in general. Uh, um, like, just some little moments are just, like, key takeaways. And, you know, I didn't feel great coming out of my hand, but it somehow... <laughs> it, you know, <laughs> but, um, Those are almost worse, right? Where you're like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, no! Like, oh, I, I don't know what words. I'll, I'll take it. I'll my take navigation it. system on? What's going on? <laughs> Goes in. Okay. But, yeah. like, coming off that block from Foos, right? Um, you know, like... I, it's just those moments when the place erupts, like whether it's if I hit that shot or everybody else does whatever they do, you know, like it's just it's cool to be cool to be inside that gym and be a part of it. And now the obligatory Super Bowl question: Who you got tomorrow? It's just like back and or forth, Sunday, yeah. yeah, back and forth. Like, I mean, I know we're on live TV, and so like I don't know what the whole like scheme is with the Chiefs, but like I'm a big Andy Reid fan. Okay. It's it, like we were just talking. Like either way, BYU fans win, right? Either way. Like, yeah, right. Fred, Fred Warner. Warner is, or, Fred's, our, Fred's our guy. <laughs> which, by like, the way, your sister. our guy. Your sister moved into my ward, and Ryan That's Waite funny. is your niece's primary teacher. This is only BYU TV content type content here. Um, every week, he asks, I guess, your niece, "Hey, what was one of the highlights of the week?" And it's always about you, by the way. <laughs> oh, my uncle Richie so against funny. West Virginia. <laughs> That's the word on the street. So I, I don't know her name, but. She's a That's huge awesome. fan, obviously. Uh, the Richie Saunders fans are uh, all ages. I'm like, me yeah. too. That was the highlight of my week. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Richie, great to have you with hey, us. Thank uh, you. We're Thanks glad you're in, feeling man. better. Yeah, yeah. Take some BYU Sports Nation karma just strictly for health of your team. Yeah, what's spread, yeah, right. spread the health and the wealth. Listen, if we can cure disease, Spence, we got to be doing <laughs> way more than this. Okay? The, the sports thing, it does not matter compared uh, to that. Let's go. Yeah. Have fun against Kansas hey, State. Thank you. Thanks, Richie.